a bear, a lion, a horse, and a person of unusual proportions. Behind them palm trees, and on the ground, a little ball. Oh, did I mention they're all made of gold? This is the world's most famous film awards, taking a group photo. And among them we have an actual bear, an actual globe, definitely a man, palm tree with leaves, a lion with wings, still a lion. But did you know that this horse from Asia is actually not a horse? In 1962, the first Golden Horse Awards were held in Taipei. The name Golden Horse appears to follow international naming conventions, but it's actually from the names of Jingmen and Mazu, the front lines of the fight against communism. The government thought that naming the awards after military outposts would inspire filmmakers to work tirelessly for the nation. Two. Every year, we're all waiting to hear the words. But in the early years of the Golden Horse, all you had was this. Yep, the first 14 years of the Golden Horse were one big spoiler fest. So the movie stars pretending to be nervous already knew who the winners were. Three. So, you say you want a Golden Horse. Step one might be to hit the gym, bro. The Golden Horse Award weighs 3.4 kilograms. That's about the weight of six bobas. Not bad for a home workout. Nobody knows who created the first Golden Horse trophy, but the second edition was created by the world-renowned sculptor Yang Yingfeng. Since then, the trophy has gone through many transformations until its 24th year, where it landed on its final form, Master Yang's original design. A magnificent steed galloping into eternity. So next time you see someone emotionally holding up their Golden Horse Award, just remember, that's six bobas. Four. In the 1963 film The Love Etern, Hong Kong actress Ivy Ling Bo played Liang San Bo, the male lead. Her performance received critical acclaim, but uh, wait, uh, should she be awarded Best Actress or Actor? Uh, how about just a special acting award? Anyway, the Taiwan audience loved it either way. Five. Do you recognize this song? In 1980, the musician Fan Man Nong and lyricist Sun Yi composed the theme song Galloping Golden Horse. This stirring melody has become a Golden Horse tradition, ushering in the big day for filmmakers and the audience for more than 40 years. Six. And the winner for hosting the most Golden Horse Awards is Sun Yat-sen Memorial, an arc-shaped auditorium with 2,572 plush rent seats offering a rock concert-worthy experience. Of the last 58 Golden Horses, 21 have been held here. Seven. Besides Sun Yat-sen, where else have the awards been held? Well, starting on its 18th year, the Golden Horse Awards have gone around the island to get Taiwanese people everywhere in on the fun. Eight. So, uh, you wanna come over, Netflix and chill? No, that's too cliche. How about you come over and play Jenga with my Golden Horses? What? Is that a thing? The record for most Golden Horse Awards is held by genius art director Zhang Shuping, who won 13 times. And right on his tail is Master of Sound Du Duzi with 12 wins. These two professionals exemplify the old saying, one minute on stage takes 10 years of practice. Oh, as far as actors are concerned, Maggie Chung could play a mean game of Jenga too. Nine. As the most iconic film award in the Chinese-speaking world, the Golden Horse has transformed itself through the years. Starting in 1978, the award has invited many international film celebrities to our beautiful island, creating a fresh vibe for the awards. The Golden Horse Awards also started the Taipei Golden Horse International Film Viewing Festival, which selected international films to help the Taiwan audience better appreciate cinema from around the world. This has since evolved into the Taipei Golden Horse Film Festival, which we all know and love. Ten. Director Ho Xiaoxian once said, the Golden Horse is the hardest one to win. Often dubbed the Oscars of Asia, the Golden Horse has long been recognized for professional and impartial judging. But uh, what's harder than winning the hardest one? Winning all of them! Once upon a time, there was a movie so greedy that it took home a Golden Horse and an Oscar. Ladies and gentlemen, Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon! In 2000 to 2001, this Ang Lee epic swept the world's major awards. I don't care what shape it's in, just get me all the trophies! The martial arts film brought Chinese language movies to new heights. You must have seen images like these on TV, since the Golden Horse Award is truly one of the biggest honors that a Chinese-speaking filmmaker could get. The Golden Horse is the very first and most iconic Chinese-language film award. Initially only for Taiwan and Hong Kong films, the festival is now an international-level award and a lifetime dream for many Chinese-speaking filmmakers. The Golden Horse Award even has its own film academy and production studio to nurture the next generation of filmmakers so that this Golden Horse continues to gallop freely through the fields of creativity. 
productivity. This video was sponsored by Taiwan Plus. Follow Taiwan Plus for more cool content about Taiwan and Asia. Mm.